Hello everyone and welcome to what promises to be probably the weirdest video I have ever posted on my YouTube channel. So a couple of weeks ago I won a mind clash uh, against Grazer where we were uh, playing around with the new foxes and I was remarking at how cute it was when foxes had different Minecraft items in their mouths. Now, for some reason, I said if the video got over 5,000 thumbs up, that I would make a hour long video putting different things in Minecraft into a fox's mouth. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. And I didn't stop there. I also, for some reason, said that I would make it an ASMR video, which if you don't know uh, what ASMR is, it's this uh, type of video. I, I do not know how to do it. I am not trained in how to do it, but it's this kind of video where uh, you, you make sort of uh, noises that would maybe be like relaxing to some people to hear. Like you kind of talk in a whisper and maybe you use like objects like um, I could use this water bottle that I drank and like crunch it. Anyway, that's ASMR videos are supposed to be relaxing. They're supposed to, if you wear headphones, you're supposed to really be sort of like lulled by the, the no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know why I said I would do this, but here I am and I've made a whole map. <laughs> I've made a whole map. So, okay, let me just, I'll get into the ASMR when we actually start to... It's not ASMR. I don't know. Like, I'm titling this ASMR probably. It's not. I Like, I make no claims to know how to do that. I'm just going to whisper. But anyway, um, this is my house. So if at any time during this hour I need to sleep, I can come here. I can sleep. It's got, like, blue terracotta and a blue bed, bucket of milk. I have a cute little cat somewhere. Where'd he go? Yeah. Hi, cute little cat. You look like milk toast. Um, anyway, so we've got all these different sections of the map. There are a lot of foxes. And I've kind of, like, broken... Uh, or not broken up, but like I've divided all of the items in the game, not every item, but the ones that I think will be particularly great to put in a fox's mouth. Who am I? What am I doing? Anyway, um, I've divided them into sections. I've kind of grouped them with certain things that I think go together. Uh, and then at the end of the hour, we're gonna rank them. I've got uh, one, two, and three. We're going to uh, put the item that we like. Oh wait, that fox has something in its mouth. What do you already, I can't see what it already has in its mouth. What do you, oh, hello llama. What do you, hello. Um, by the way, these llamas, I did not spawn. A uh, wandering trader spawned in by itself. And it had two llamas with it. Um, I don't know where he went. Anyway, Fox, what do you have in your mouth? Okay, could you stop moving, maybe? I think it's an egg. That's not gonna win. Okay, and you're holding a feather! Okay, these foxes did not have anything in their mouths at the beginning. Like, we're gonna have to get new foxes. Because that's not the right item, little cat. Okay, it's already dark, and I'm afraid that I haven't torched this up enough. So I'm gonna go ahead, actually, wait a minute though. Are we on peaceful? Because where are the slime? There should be like so many slime around. I think we are on peaceful because there were guardians in this pond a while ago. I don't know how to like change the um, server. No, peaceful normal where are all these bats come from um okay you know what we don't need hostile mobs guardians we don't need guardians um okay let's just get to it actually we don't even have to sleep if it's peaceful so i'm gonna come over here i think to the mesa and like work my way i think that there's a clear path that we can take um if i start over here at the mesa part of the map i think what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. Hi guys. Um, okay, so this is uh, Mesa and animal stuff. Okay, um, okay. <laughs> let's just let's just get going on the ASMR part of the video. 
Is the microphone? Oh, th you're just dumb, Bat. Why are you running into a cactus? Okay, I'm gonna come over here to the microphone. I don't know. This isn't ASMR. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's get some stuff out. Okay. I've also got a bunch of foxes in case we run out. All right. So we've got an acacia door, a cactus, a dead bush, an acacia button, a saddle, some diamond horse armor, a lead, and a name tag. Let's see what these look like in Fox's mouth. <laughs> okay, acacia door. Oh, okay, actually, the acacia door is pretty great. Oh, these foxes aren't tame to me, so they're gonna be really scared. If I crouch, I'm like kind of all about the acacia door. <laughs> That's incredible. Okay, will they take damage from the cactus? What will you... Oh, it turned sideways. That's so cute. Bonus points for being a baby. Okay, the cactus is kind of cute. All right. What about a dead bush? <laughs> okay. The dead bush is pretty cool, too. Let's spawn some more foxes. Excuse me, horse. Okay, there's a fox. And I'm going to give him an acacia button. Can I see you? Can I see? Move, horse. Come here. Where's the acacia button? I can't, I can't see it. Do I have to like jump down in this hole to be able to, are you not holding the acacia button? You're the one eating the acacia. <gasps> I think it's in there. It's just so small. Is this true? Hold on. I'm like genuinely confused about the acacia button. I gotta get up close to this guy. <gasps> he has it in his mouth. It's just tiny. The acacia button is so small. Okay. I have to sneeze. That's not very ASMR. Or is it? Okay. It's the sneeze is passing. All right. Let's give you... No. Excuse me, horse. Let's give you a saddle. You don't want the saddle? Okay. Hold on. All right. Let's go outside of here. And Okay. All right. Cool. That's one way to do it. Just to get a little bit more space in here. Uh, okay, everyone wants to leave. Oh, all right, that's fine. Horse, why don't you leave? Did I just hear a fox die? Why did that baby fox just make a terrible, terrible noise? Can horses not fit through a single gate? That's terrible. I don't approve of that. Okay, fox, how about you eat... Uh, oh, what are you holding? What are you already eating? What are you already eating in your mouth? What does he have? He has a piece of leather. How did you get a piece of leather? Okay, the, the leather's pretty good. Like, that looks kind of funny. But the horse didn't die. Where where did the leather come from? Did I have a piece of leather on me? I didn't have a piece of leather, did I? I'm so confused, cat. Okay. Spawn another fox. And you, my dear, can have the saddle. How's that going to look? That looks stupid. I like the leather. I honestly really like the acacia door. Now, I've seen a fox have a lead. Because the fox in the mine clash stole my lead. Which was very uncool. So I'm not a fan. Now what about diamond horse armor? That might look really weird. Ooh, it does look really weird. I think you look dumb. I mean, I think you look dumb. And then last but not least, I'm excited for this one. A name tag. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Oh, I like the name tag. It's down to the name tag and the acacia door. I'm, I'm really not sure which one I like better. 
but I kind of think I like the acacia door the best. The cactus was funny too. Are you acacia door? I think you're acacia. Come back. Come back, acacia door. <gasps> yes, acacia door. Living. Living for you, acacia door. Okay, let's go back over to the mesa. Is anyone still watching? <laughs> okay, we're in the mesa and we're going into a mesa mine shaft. And this is the ore section. We're gonna see what ores look like in your mouth. Oh, okay. Wow, this is a lot. But I guess we do have an hour. So, okay. I don't think I need to see all of the ores. Like, that's gonna be, I'm not gonna choose one of those. It's just a block. Now, an iron nugget I am interested in. Um, a comparator is gonna be funny looking. Let's go with coal. Whoops, hold on. Coal. Haha, <laughs> you're eating coal. Now, I just don't think he will give it up if I throw a diamond on him. Like, I think you have to give him food for him to change what he has. Right? Okay, that's fine. You can leave. Let's spawn another fox. What about a diamond? I think in my first video about foxes, I threw a diamond into a fox's mouth. What a wonderful feature in Minecraft. What a delightful thing. Now, a diamond's pretty good. I'm not going to argue with that. You want to leave? You can leave. Yeah, go ahead and leave. Alright, I don't hate the diamond. Emerald? There's probably a bunch of foxes with emeralds out in the map. Because emeralds are an item that foxes can spawn in with naturally. But let's see the lapis. Pick up the lapis. I know you want to. Now look at me. Look at me, fox. Look at me. Look at me with your lapis. Come on. Fox. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's put down another fox and throw it an iron ore. I picked the iron ore back up. Okay, eat the iron ore. You're the worst. Okay, and eat the iron ore. Yeah, that's not that funny. Okay, let's try an iron nugget. It's go so gonna be so small like the button. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. Okay, I kinda wanna like, I kinda wanna break a piece of stone. Is that void? That almost looks like void. I feel like that's just the void. Let's maybe not fall into the void. Um, okay. Well, the iron nugget's okay. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's got the iron nugget? I want to see the iron nugget. Move, diamond. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, gosh, I just spawned a lot of foxes. Oh, you're the iron nugget. Okay. Yeah, that's not that funny. Okay, how about a comparator? Comparator? I don't even know how to say it. Who ate it? Did you eat it? Oh my gosh. What is it? It's like a different part of it than I thought it would be. Wait, I want to see this. This is interesting. This is like why I wanted to do this video actually is because I feel like I'm just learning a little bit about... Oh, interesting. Like what, it, what part of the Minecraft item shows. That's really interesting. Okay, was there anything else that we wanted? Like, let's see redstone dust. And maybe let's see a gold nugget. Okay. You can have the redstone dust. He doesn't want the redstone dust. Why doesn't he want it? Eat it. It's good for you. Because you're already holding a feather. That's why. Alright, what about you? Do you want a gold nugget? Where's the redstone dust? <gasps> the gold nugget's funny, guys. Guys, the gold nugget's funny. Hold on. I really want to see. Is there like... Oh, that's bedrock. And that's just void. Please don't fall in the void. I don't have a block. Um, okay. Well, we didn't see... Oh, you picked up the redstone dust. Oh, the redstone dust is funny, too. But the gold nugget, the gold nugget's pretty good. Listen, 
I don't want you guys to die. So, here you go. Alright, goodbye. I feel like we got a lot out of that. Okay, let's go. And we are now gonna... Whoa, why are there so many foxes right here? They're like all hanging... Are foxes attracted to villagers or golems? Are foxes attracted to golems? What's happening? They're like all collected there. That was weird. Okay, let's go over here to the end city and see if a fox would put other things in the Oh gosh, oh no. No, 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 I did not realize this. <gasps> no, my cat! No, no, no! No, cat, no! Oh, no, this is bad. Oh, but cats can't take fall damage. Oh, that's awesome. Act, wait a minute. Do end rods absorb? Did we know that about end rods? Did you know that an end rod will break a... I'm just gonna... Game rule. Keep inventory true. Cool. Also, um, spawn point. Great. Because, yeah, because that. Um, oh, and, okay, all right, cool. Listen, did we know this about end rods? I mean, I didn't, but maybe other people do. Okay, let's go ahead and eat some pumpkin pie. We're gonna need to, baby polar bear, how did you get over here? Oh no. Oh no, there's a mama polar bear over there. I thought maybe the mama polar bear got, it went into the end, I can't get over this. I can't get over this. Okay, we're just gonna quickly open the end chest. Ooh, these are some cool items here. And we're gonna fly away, fly far away. And I'm gonna die. Oh, but not on this tree, I won't die. That's great. Put me down on the tree, thank you. All right, let's just heal up. So, we've got ourselves a shulker shell, an end rod, a dragon head, and an elytra. If I do say so myself, these are great items for a fox's mouth. I'm looking forward to seeing I feel like there needs to be a verb. Like, what's the verb for, like, if it's in a fox's mouth? Like, a fox is eating it. It's, it's, I don't know. You have a book on your head, sir. That's awesome. Okay, let's, um, let's just spawn in some new foxes. And throw the shulker shell. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's really good. It's not the direction I thought it would be. Let's see the end rod. I'm probably most excited for the end rod. Oh no. This was a letdown. Oh no, guys. The end rod is not good. Oh, wait a minute. It might be great. I wish you hadn't followed me in here. It kind of looks like a tooth. Hold on. I want to see. Hold on, you're ruining this. I can't see. Oh, <gasps> it looks like a tooth. It looks like a tooth. It's so good. Wait a minute. It looks like a tooth. Okay, Andrade is at the top of the list right now. Let's see what the dragon head looks like. This is another good one. You went and picked up a piece of dirt. You're dumb. Okay, you get the dragon head. No, you're already holding something. You're holding a piece of wheat, maybe? Okay, you get the dragon head. Eat the dragon head. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> number one! We found you, number one! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Moving on. We have a lot to get through, but the, I I could look at that for another long time. Let's do the elytra. It's gonna be underwhelming compared to that. Oh, did you pick up the elytra? Come here. I need to see you. No. 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 It's daytime. Shouldn't you all be sleeping? No. 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 Come over here. No. 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 Elytra. Elytra, stop! Elytra, stop! I just... Wait, you're not even the Elytra. You're the shulker shell. No, 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 no. Where... Are you Elytra? You're Elytra. Come here. Come here. <gasps> not my cat again! Not my cat again! Okay, Elytra's interesting. Elytra's pretty interesting because it's like... Looks almost like a lily pad. I'm gonna die. To the tree, to the tree, to the tree, to the tree. Didn't matter. Oh gosh, I don't like this spawn point. Okay, Elytra was slightly underwhelming compared to the dragon head. Dragon... <laughs> dragon head. Dragon head, man. You did not disappoint. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go into our first building. It's gonna be beds. <laughs> I oh okay. All right, let's choose a bed. I'm gonna go with. Should I go with orange? No. I'll go with the classic red. Maybe I will go with orange. Okay. And eat a bed. Oh, that's unexpected. It's the bottom of the bed. And that's the bed's vertical. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Okay, can you move? I can't really see you. Oh, interesting. I mean, listen. I know this video sounds weird in, like... Uh, sort of the concept but I like knowing everything there is to know about Minecraft so the fact that we now know that a bed is displayed vertically in a fox's mouth I consider this a good use of our time I hope you do too <laughs> okay let's go to potions that's exciting. Oh gosh. Okay, shut the door. Okay. Hi guys. Ooh. All of these might be good. Oh, the brewing stand. That's going to be interesting. Why are you holding a feather already? Okay, eat a brewing stand. That's weird. Interesting. Not that many part of the pixel show, but underneath the fox's mouth. That's what's interesting. Ooh, a glowing potion. Okay, eat the glowing potion of lingering healing, what was it? Uh, whatever it is, eat it. Can a fox eat a potion? <gasps> yes, and it's got the, it's, this is our first one that has an animated texture. So, did you just drink it? I was really excited to know if the animated texture in your hand would also show up in, hello? This is none of your concern. Okay. Um, cauldron. That's a good one. Okay. And... Cauldron. Okay, there's just too many foxes in here. Can some of you leave, please? Can some of you leave? Go ahead. Oh gosh, no one wants to leave now. Will you eat the cauldron? Oh gosh, you're three foxes. No, please leave. Oh, oh, I see the cauldron. Oh, interesting. Okay. And now, um, ooh, spider eye and glistering melon. These appeal to me. Oh, you had something in your mouth. Okay. And, oh my gosh. Glistering melon. That's good. That's very good. And spider eye. 
<laughs> it looks like a tongue. It looks like a tongue. It looks like you're sticking out your little tongue. That's good. I need to start writing these down. The ones that I like the most. Phantom membrane. These don't seem exciting. Let's try the fermented spider eye though. Because like I'm interested in this tongue theory. Let's see if this one looks even more like a tongue. Did you drink the potion and it, was it a poison? They can... Okay, we gotta try this potion then. A potion of swiftness. You can't drink the potion. You can't drink a splash potion though, right? Wait, we have to try a real potion. I have to go into creative mode. Okay, we'll give you a poison potion and a poisonous potato. That probably exists farther down, but I'm not sure if it does. So we have to, um, we have to try it out now. Will you eat this potato eventually and, and get sick? And likewise, will you drink this potion of poison? That would be dumb. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Alright, we have to wait here for a little bit. Oh wait, I don't need to be crouching. Now you still have the potion. I'll go back into survival. I heard drinking. But no one's poisoned. Oh, I should have done invisibility. We have to try that. We have to try invisibility, sir. But I need all these foxes to be out of here. I don't think the poison thing happens. Alright, everyone leave. Okay? Everyone, please go. Please go. Please go. Please go. And disperse. Out you go. Out you go. There you go. Out you go. How are you guys all... Okay. Out you go. Do I have to break this one? Okay. Bye, everyone. It was fun. Alright. Here we go. We are gonna get a potion of invisibility. And then we're gonna spawn in a fox, throw the potion down. This is very scientific work that needs to happen. Now we're just gonna chill here and wait and see if this guy goes invisible. If he drinks it and goes invisible. I just don't know. I don't know. You thinking about it? Are you thinking about it? <laughs> There's so many foxes. I don't think, I think maybe the wandering trader was nearby and he drank his potion of invisibility. That might have been what happened. And that was the drinking sound. I think you're just going to hold the potion, right? But let me tell you, that would be so cool if you went invisible. If you could like drink the potion that you're holding, that would be so cool. I feel bad for you that you're not invisible, so I'm going to give us invisibility, okay? Here we go. <laughs> now he's just a floating potion. Oh my gosh, this would be so handy for map makers. This would be so handy for map makers, because you could permanently make the fox invisible and then just have whatever it's holding in its mouth floating around at a horizontal level. That's cool, man. That's really cool. Listen, we're learning, guys. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Well, wait, how did he, how did he do that? He just disappeared. The potion's gone. Oh, there he is. Gosh. He really got me there. Alright, let's keep going. Oh my gosh. 
um, the nether. There's a nether. Let's go into the nether and see uh, what we have in the nether. This should be exciting. I'm actually having a lot of fun. It's already been half an hour. A whole bat, a whole boxes. Hey, you guys are kind of chill in the nether. Um, okay. Magma cream, nether wart, gas tear, blaze rod, blaze powder. Let's give you the magma cream. That's cool. I like the colors of that. Oh, you have the potion. Let's give you a nether wart. That's going to be cute. It's almost like berries, though. <gasps> no, it looks more like a tongue than the spider eye. No, it doesn't. It looks like you're bleeding, maybe. All right, let's give you a gas tear. Let's give you... Oh, yeah, you got it. Can I see? It's kind of like the iron nugget a little bit. Let's give you a blaze rod. That's cute. I like it. And let's give you some blaze powder. That's very cute. But nothing that has come close to the dragon head or the tooth that was the end rod. Those are my front ones. Oh. You're not, I thought we were on peaceful. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, okay, bye, bye, bye. I'm leaving. Um, oh, do you see those llamas like freaking out right now? What's going on over there? The wandering trader must be leading them and he must be invisible. Oh no, the shulkers, why? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Run, 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 run. Is there a wandering trader right here? There is! Look at his particles! I hit him! Ha ha! <laughs> okay. The llama spits at you if you hit the traitor! <gasps> we just learned something new! That's crazy! Don't hit the foxes! No! No! That fox is attacking the llama! Why? Why would the fox attack the llama? The foxes aren't loyal to me. Oh no! Oh, that fox is so mean! Oh no! Not the golem! No! No! Oh, he's mad. He drank the milk and he's mad. He's mad at the fox. Don't do anything to the fox. Oh my gosh. What just happened? Oh, the llamas. Oh, oh, I can't even think about this. Okay, let's move on. Um, rare items or spawn eggs? Ooh, spawn eggs is interesting. Let's, um, let's choose one spawn egg. Because once you've seen one, you kind of seem to... Can I help you? You just let out my fox. Okay. Let's see here. Drowned? Pufferfish. Oh. Uh, oh, we have to. We have to see. Oh, but the pufferfish isn't going to spawn. That would be amazing. Salmon spawning. It's really just the colors that we're going for here. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, panda bear. Skeleton. I mean, I think my favorite color spawning is maybe the phantom. Although, of course, I really like the zombie horse. Pillager, a mule, vindicator, witch, pig, enderman. Do we have a, um, we don't have the pillager beast. What's his name again? Ravager. Have you ever wondered what happens between a ravager and a golem? No, I can't. Yes, I can. Okay, let's just see. Oh, no, you have a feather. Let's just see what it looks like if you are holding a pufferfish spawn egg. Look at me. Oh, it's cute. It's really cute. I like it. But, oh my gosh. 
Oh, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen, I want to spawn this Ravager and see what happens. Can I do it? Do you give me permission? Can I do it? Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lead you. Fun fact that I bet you guys didn't know that you can lead a iron golem. It's true. I learned that a long time ago. Okay, I'm gonna spawn the Ravager! The Ravager! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! <gasps> he kills the wandering trader. That's mean. Where's he going now? What what are you, what is he doing? He has a mouth animation that I've never seen before. Is there a villager in there? No. There's no villager in there. Is he eating cobble? Oh gosh, he sees me. Oh gosh. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Ravager, no. Ravager, no. I wanted to know what you were doing over there with the cobble. Yeah, Ravager. Leave me alone, Ravager. Where'd the golem go, by the way? Like, the golem was supposed to help me. Did the golem just peace out? Hey, golem? Where'd the golem go? The golem was like, I'm not down for this. Did he already kill the golem? Have I not been whispering? Where'd the golem go? He's doing it again. What is he doing? Does he see me from this far away? He does. I put myself into creative mode so that we can one, get another iron golem, but two, really observe what it is that the Ravager is doing to this church. <laughs> Have you ever seen it? I can't understand it. Is it gonna break after a while? What's he trying to get? And will the golem do anything to protect the village? Who will win? Who will win? wins against the Ravager. That's so interesting. I'm fascinated. Good job. And now we go back into survival. Okay. Um, rare items. Oh, that's going to be exciting. Okay. Let's see what the rare items are. <sighs> Enchantment table. Dragon's breath. But we kind of already have seen that. Nether star. Totem. <gasps> And crystal, spectral arrow, and beacon. These are gonna be good. These are gonna be so good. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, let's come over here. And here we go. You're gonna hold the enchantment table. What's it gonna do? It's just like a block, and it's upside down. Mm, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Nether star? Oh, do you have something in your mouth? Nether star. It glows. Nice. The totem of undying. Ah, <gasps> you know what we have to test out now, don't you? We have to kill him to see if the totem works because he's holding it. I'm so sorry, sir. What if this fox resurrects right now? I hate to kill a fox in Minecraft, but I have to. Oh my gosh, is that even still the totem guy? Okay, we gotta we gotta kill one in a pen. We're not gonna be able to catch this guy. Who's the one holding the totem? Is it him? He's gotta die. Is it him? Was he the one holding the totem? Not my cat again. What's happening? Where'd my cat go? <gasps> my cat. Okay, 
that's that's fine okay listen in the name of science we have to kill a fox that's holding a totem let's put down okay here's what we're gonna do we're gonna put down a fence right here We're gonna spawn in a fox. We're gonna give him a totem. And then sadly, we're gonna kill him. Now if he uses the totem, he should resurrect. Minecraft, you should make this a thing. He's just gonna drop the totem. No way. No freaking way. He used the totem. He used the totem of undying and lived. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's insane. I'm so happy. That's like, that almost gets on the podium just for being cool. All right, let's give, um, Let's give this guy uh, a spectral arrow. It's, nothing's going to be cool compared to the totem. Yeah, that's nice. You have a spectral arrow. All right, let's give this guy. This one might be cool. Uh, okay. Oh, you're holding leather. Wait, you got it. Someone's got to go get the end. <gasps> cool. Oh, it's got an animation too. That's cool but that could blow up in his face. And a beacon. <laughs> Upside down beacon. Cool. Okay, honestly guys, my mind is blown right now because of the totem. Okay, that was all the rare items. Um, let's now go to blocks. Ooh, <gasps> this is diabolical. Oh, I'm in creative. I just ruined that. Okay, hold on. Uh, we gotta get the magma back and then uh, go back into survival. So here's the thing. Will a fox hold the magma and take damage? No, the fox can hold the magma and not take damage. There's a hole in the building. Cool. Okay, let's plug up this hole and then let's try a wet sponge. If the fox is holding a wet sponge, will it drip? I don't think so because it doesn't drip in my hand. No. Okay, what about a piece of ice? Blue ice. Will it melt in the fox's warm mouth? That looks silly. You look dumb. Ooh, a piston? No. <gasps> no. I thought maybe if you go over a redstone block, the piston would discharge. A crafting table could be really cute in a fox's mouth, actually. I'd like to see what that looks like. Let's see. Ooh. The direction of some of them is very strange. And let's see slime. That's cool. All right, moving on. Miscellaneous. Get out, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh, man. You're the worst. You again. And who are you? I'm going to see... Whoa. Uh, okay. An anvil is heavy. Beetroot seeds are weird. A shield, a note block. Chorus fruit. I've got to try all of these. An ender pearl. No, I won't do an ender pearl. A daylight sensor could be weird. All of these could be so weird. We've got to do so many of them. Okay. Let's try a note block. 
A rocket. <laughs> A daylight sensor. Well, that looks weird. I've never seen the upside down of a daylight sensor. Chorus fruit. Will you teleport if you eat it? They don't eat, though, do they? A shield? Okay. Beetroot seeds. Anvil. An anvil is so heavy. Can you really hold an anvil in your mouth? <laughs> that looks funny. Let's get some more. Get out of here, guys. Crossbow, torch, carrot on a stick, record disc, hopper. These are all really, really good ones. Flint and steel, composter. I just, I can't decide. I want to try them all. Well, that's dumb, because that doesn't look that good in my hand. This is weird looking. Composter. There you go. It's just like a block. Flint and steel is a weird shape. Okay. Hopper is also a really weird block. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. Okay, record disc. Okay. Record disc? No, bad. Carrot on a stick? Hmm, not my favorite. What about a torch? Oh, you have something in your mouth, don't you? What do you have in your mouth? Okay, torch. Wow, you ate it. That's funny. It's like you have a lollipop. And a crossbow. Interesting. Okay, very cool. Moving on. I think that's all for miscellaneous and blocks. Now we have Stacy's favorite blocks. This should be good. Blue and white stripes. Okay. Yes, these are all my favorite blocks. Birch, when I made my house out of dog craft. Hay bales, bookshelf, purper, mycelium. Oh, I have a texture pack on. Oh, I didn't have to edit anything, and now I think I've crashed. What's happening right now? What was that about? Oh, okay. Uh, let me see if I have to edit this out or if there's anything secretive in here. 113 textures, a Halloween texture for dog craft, advent calendars, my book Mind Clash from a long time ago, custom sky from UHC, cutie crafts, deep end animals, mermaid pack, brown mushroom. Look, I can keep this in the video. That's fine. I didn't even notice that the brown mushroom out there. Uh, where was it? Yeah, that was a brown mushroom, not a red mushroom from the brown mu mushroom challenge. Okay, I'm just going to pick one of these blocks. I think I'm going to go with the observer because... I, no, I want to go with prismarine too. Okay, and a bookcase because that's cute. Alright, so let's throw down the bookcase and see what that looks like. Oh, bummer. Wait, 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 I want to see. Can you see any of the books? Not even really. Okay, purper's interesting because purper has a... Purper has a... A movement to it like sea lanterns too but not when you hold it only when you place it huh like it's not turning colors in my hands right is it no let's try the observer and see if you can see the face no that's a letdown okay cool we've reached the end of this row oh a panda it's one of the snotty pandas. I heard that you can sneeze a slime ball. Is that true or is that just a an urban Minecraft lore? I love the color of your eyes. Can you sneeze a slime ball? I'm gonna watch you for a minute. You gonna do it? Maybe not. Okay, let's move on. So we've reached the end of this row 
And now there's a couple little houses over here. That's my house, of course. Tools and weapons. Hmm. Ooh, some of these might be interesting. Like, let's see the hoe. Yeah, let's see what it looks like. Oops, didn't mean to hoe the ground. Diamond hoe and a fox. Oh, no, you just put the part of the tool in your mouth. That's the interesting. Okay, so then let's come over here. What do we have here? Items with movement. Ooh, this should be interesting. <gasps> Ooh, it's late. Um, I can't see. We have a stray cat that spawned in. That's so cool. Hi, stray cat that spawned in. I don't have any fish or I would try to tame you. I'm going to sleep in my bed. And then, this is exciting. So these are some of the blocks. I mean, we've already seen other ones. But these are some of the blocks that have movement in them um, that you can see. So, hello, bat. Um, no, wait, that's the weapons. Where's the movement house? It's over here. Okay, so, like a, a sea lantern. Can you see the movement in the sea lantern? The little uh, ring that comes from the center? Uh, this stone cutter has movement, even when it's in your hand. Um, this clock, but that's not very exciting because it moves so slowly. And the compass. The compass has a lot of movement in your hand, too. This is really going to be interesting. So, throw down the compass and spawn a fox. Ooh, you can't see the needle at all. Letdown. Major letdown. And the sea lantern. Oh, no, you have a rabbit hide. Okay. Oh, no, you have a piece of leather. Okay, does anyone want to eat the sea lantern? You're eating it, and we have movement. Interesting. And now the stone cutter. This could be painful. And eat a stone cutter. Why don't you? Oh, bummer. The blade. Where's the blade? The blade is in his mouth. That's not good. But that would have been so cute if it was spinning on your... Okay, anyway, fine. All right, cool. And we'll just place this prismarine because it's pretty. Um, all right, so let's see here. I think next up would be... Flowers. All right, let's see. I think the sunflower might be interesting. I think the vine might be interesting. The wither rose. Um, a two-block flower for sure. We'll try the peony. And everything else, I think, wouldn't be that interesting. Okay, let's try these. All right, a two-block tall flower, but it doesn't look like two blocks tall when you throw it on the ground, so that's not going to be that exciting. There you go. Eat a flower. Yep, not that exciting. Now, what about a sunflower? That's just a little dot, actually. That's not going to be exciting at all. Oh, cute. That is cute, though. Uh, the Wither Rose, okay, <laughs> and a Vine, that's going to be weird, interesting, okay, moving on, we have got our Ocean stuff, ooh, a Trident, ooh, a Bucket of Puffer Fish, a Turtle Egg, a Conduit, a Turtle Shell, a Puffer Fish, Oh my gosh, these are all so good. A sea pickle. <gasps> these are all so good. Tube coral. Okay. Let's just throw all this stuff on the ground and see which ones they pick up. He picked up. I just picked them all back up. The puffer fish. The coral. <gasps> what did you eat? The sea pickle. What else is there? I think I just picked everything up. Hold on. Okay. So you try a puffer fish in a bucket. Hmm. It's like you're eating it. You try a trident. I feel like the... It ate the puffer fish. It ate the puffer fish and it has poison effect. No, live. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. You live. You do eat the puffer fish. Oh my gosh. Okay, have a trident. I feel like this is going to be a good one. No, you, you already have something in your mouth. You already have something in your mouth. Try a trident, please. You already have an emerald in your mouth. 
Who wants to eat my trident? <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come back. Hold on. Wait, why don't I just lead these guys when I can't see them well? Where did Trident go? Trident's over there. We gotta chase Trident. No, that's not Trident. Oh, we lost Trident. He still has particles. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've gotta do the Trident again. I've gotta go into creative. Because I forgot that a Trident has a really weird texture in certain ways. Like it looks fine there, but look at that. It's like so tiny and skinny. That looks stupid. That looks so dumb. I don't like it. Okay, let's try the turtle egg. You're not going to eat the turtle egg, are you? Oh, do you know what I want to try, though? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. If you, if you silk touch a turtle egg that's on the ground, it looks like that, doesn't it? Oh, there he ate it. And the turtle shell helmet. Nice. And the conduit. Oh, I just placed it. Why did I place it? Throw the conduit. Uh, that's a letdown. All right, moving on from the aquatic items, we are going to see... Uh, let's go back into survival. Death. Oh, that's right. I built in just like a little death break. So here we've got a um, we have got a stack of rabbits and a stack of foxes. So what we can do is we can spawn in all the foxes, which is a lot. But then we can also spawn in all the rabbits, and then we can watch the carnage unfold. Oh my gosh. This is so tragic and also hilarious because they jump. I'm sorry, rabbits. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but that was amazing. That was amazing. Do you feel like sneezing? No? Do you want to sneeze? I want you to sneeze because I just I heard a rumor that you could sneeze a slime ball. And I would just like to see it for myself. Are you feeling sneezy? No? Not sneezy? Okay, well don't mind me, I'm just gonna eat a little bit of pumpkin pie. While I wait for you to sneeze. Nothing? Nothing? Okay, that's fine. All right, so now we are going to go into the snowy area for the white stuff. So this is exciting. There are white Arctic foxes in here and a whole chest of white items. These are some interesting items. I wanna see the cobweb for sure. I definitely wanna see the snowball and the skeleton skull, the bucket of milk. Ooh, a snow layer? That's interesting. I feel like that's what I wanna see the most. Okay, so we've gotta find these white foxes. Here's one. Hi, need a snow layer. Weird, it's so thin. Hi. Have a cobweb. <laughs> I like the cobweb. All right, let's see. Hey, buddy. Oh, there's some sleeping foxes over here. Hey, guys. Oh, he just picked up the seeds from the grass I broke. Have a skeleton skull. Whoa, look, it's like hollow. Do you see that? It's like upside down and hollow. Oh, interesting. All right. 
I think we've run out of white foxes. So let's look at this bucket of milk with an orange fox. Cute. And a snowball. I really want to see a snowball with the white fox. Hmm. Oh well. There we go. And snowball. Yeah, that's about what I thought. Okay, cool. Alright. Did you sneeze? Are you sneezing? No. Okay. Alright, so we've gone to the death one. We've gone to the snow. I think the last one. Is this the last one? I think it is. It's, um, let's have some cake. It's, a uh, food. Okay. Let's come in here, and we're gonna give you guys some food. I want to see the cake. I'd like to see a mushroom. Um, an enchanted golden apple? I wonder if they would eat it. And rabbit stew. A beetroot could be cute. Could be like the perfect tongue that we've been searching for. Let's try to give you an enchanted golden apple. Anyone? Nice. And then how about who wants to eat a beetroot? Is it a tongue? Is it a tongue? <gasps> mm, no, it's a little bit bigger. I think the spider eye works better as a tongue. What about the red mushroom? What about the red mushroom? Oh, that's just cute. That's just cu I just like that one. You ate the enchanted golden apple, didn't you? You're invincible. You're totally invincible, man. Here, do you want a cake too? Who wants a cake? Ooh, that's cute. I really like the red mushroom for some reason. I don't know why. It just like makes me happy. Okay, guys. This is this is crazy. This is it. This is like the moment that we've all been waiting for. It is the end of the video. We have been to all of these places. We have seen what everything looks like in a fox's mouth and we now have to crown our champions who now you have something in your mouth so like i'm sorry but you can't be a champion so there you go and please don't have something in your mouth okay good you don't and then you don't either but i think you did didn't you yeah you have like an egg or something so you also must leave and then please don't have something in your mouth. Great, you don't either. Okay, perfect. I'm stuck in here now with you. All right, we have to go into creative anyway. All right, guys, the moment we have all been waiting for. Now, I want you to feel free to comment <laughs> on the video. Is there an item that I forgot that you think would be the greatest in a fox's mouth? What was your favorite of the ones that we saw? I am gonna go with drum roll please in third place wait a minute i have to get clear on okay in third place it's got to be the end rod the end rod that looks like he has a little tooth i love it let's see where's your tooth there it is there's your little tooth. That's just cute. I can't really see. There it goes. Wait, hold on. Look up at me. Can you look up at me? There. Yeah, it looks like a little tooth. I like it. Okay. In second place, I have to go with the Totem of Undying. That's so cool and unexpected that the properties of the totem apply to the fox and like can you just imagine having a single player world or just like being on a server with your friends and you have a pet fox? I would get a totem for him and feed him the totem because then I wish I had this for wolves or my cat that died earlier. Your fox won't die. If it dies, it's not going to die. It's going to be fine with the totem of undying. Like I could take a fox. Like let's just, I want to just illustrate this point, okay? I could take a fox way up here right to the point where like he would surely die if he fell do you understand right so way up here and i spawn him like on top of this 
I spawn a fox, right? He can't go anywhere. He's going to fall. Then what do I do? I throw a totem of undying onto this little guy. Nope. Onto this little guy. Let me see if I can throw it perfectly. There we go. He has the totem. He's going to die now, though. Here we go. Oh, you hit the one block that... Okay, sorry. There you go. And he dropped the totem! Wait a minute. He uses the totem and drops it? No, that was the other one. I just played myself. I really played myself. <laughs> okay, last but not least, the number one slot. You guys know it. It's the dragon head. It is 100% the dragon head. This is the greatest thing I have ever seen. It's fantastic. Look at that fox. He's amazing. All right, guys. Um, can I stop talking? Can I stop whispering? I hope you guys liked this video. What is happening over here? Like, what is this? What is this? Like, foxes are drawn to something. The farmer? Are foxes drawn to the farmer? I can't understand it. They seem to be possibly drawn to a farmer. Let's get some villagers up in here. Let's spawn some villagers and see if we get a farmer if all the foxes like crowd around him or something. Um, the, far the farmers have straw hats. Oh, there's one. Uh, they don't seem that drawn to them. I don't really understand what's happening here. I don't know. But anyway, this was crazy. This was so much fun. Um, should we spawn in a raid, maybe? Let's spawn in a raid. Here we go. He's attacking. Will the foxes save him? Oh, the golem, the golem, the golem. Nice. Very nice. Oh, you made quick work of that golem. All right, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up. I just spent an hour putting Minecraft items in foxes' mouths. I think that the video that got us um, 5,000 thumbs up, like to do this, we should match 5,000. Let's go for 6,000. I don't think it's going to happen because I don't think that there's 6,000 of you that are still watching right now. But prove me wrong. Hit the thumbs up button. Thank you for watching this video. I thought it was excellent. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. It's really weird. I just wanted this panda to sneeze though. And he's not going to sneeze. Um, but yeah, this was pretty incredible. I just, I'm taking in all the foxes. I love them. I love them all so much. Now, I did want to test something, though, because foxes seem to be, like, kind of, um, protective of you, even if you didn't tame them. So, like, what would happen if I were to tame, to, to, like, let's see here. Let's get something, like, maybe, like, a vex? Or what's something that would hurt me but not kill me completely? Maybe, like, a baby zombie. Oh, I'm not going to get up. There's no baby zombie spawn egg. Um, what else is... Maybe like a... Um, oh, like a guardian? Let's try a guardian. Let's try a vex and a guardian. So if I go into survival, are these foxes going to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, guys, guys. See, they're afraid of me, but will they protect me from this vex? Where'd he go? Oh, hi. Hey, don't you want to hit me? Do you want to hit me, little vex? Oh, the golem hates the... Ow! Oh my gosh. Wow, dude. That's impressive. Okay, but what about... I'm going to come way over here and spawn in a guardian. Is the fox going to come? Are any of the foxes going to come and protect me from this guardian? That doesn't seem to want to shoot me. I think he's just like, water, water. Where's the water? Oh, he's shooting me now. Take damage. Oh, no! You spoil all my fun! You spoil all my fun, Gollum. You are mean. I'm sorry that I hit you. Please love me. Um, okay, well, I guess... Ooh, oh, no. Do I dare? I'm sorry! Ow! Someone come
come help me from this polar bear? Didn't the foxes... Didn't they see, see the polar bear hurt me? And don't they want to help? No? This fox might want to help. The cactus fox, I think, wants to help me. Cactus fox, help me. Help me, cactus fox. Help me, cactus fox. Get the polar bear. Get him. Get him, cactus fox. You can do it. Eat him with your cactus mouth. Is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? I need to eat something. Oh, gosh. I'm behind a wall. Okay. Cactus fox. Cactus fox. Do it. Do it, cactus fox. Hit him. Hit him. <gasps> He's hitting him! The cactus fox is attacking the polar bear! No way. No way. Will he kill him? Will he kill him? That was incredible. Can a fox kill a polar bear in Minecraft before I die? I am surely going to die first. Hold on. Hold on. I'm coming up here. I missed it! You are the best fox ever. Cactus Mouth, you get number one. You killed a polar bear. Guys, what even was this video? I love you. I will see you later. Until next time, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog. Oh, good little cactus mouth.